puppy at the door. Oh my gosh, I think I better let him in. I think his name is Poseidon. Oh, hi. Okay, calm, 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 calm. Calm down. Say hello, sit. Can you sit? Can you sit for mama? Good boy. Hi, handsome. Did you just go outside? Can I see your paw? Good boy. Can you lay down? Can you lay down? Good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, he likes to have his belly rubbed. He likes to have his belly rubbed. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, okay, calm. Calm. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Em, and I'm back with a video for you today. And today I'm just going to show you my hyperfixation breakfast, the breakfast that I've literally been eating almost every day. It's very delicious, nutritious, and super simple and easy, and I love it. It's one of my most favorite breakfasts to make. I have my coffee here that I'm sipping. It's just Cafe Bustello coffee, and I added the International Delight uh, Friends Creamer, the Manhattan Mocha and Hazelnut, which is so good. And I got some comments about that creamer, like that it was like the cancer creamer or whatever, like it's not good for you. But let me tell you, I was never planning on living forever. So let me drink my crappy coffee creamer in peace. Like let me live. Okay, my camera cut out, but yeah. I'm gonna drink this shitty coffee creamer because I don't smoke, I don't drink, I just use shitty coffee creamer. And I looked into making my own coffee creamer and for one, it takes time and energy. And for two, it, sometimes if you, break, if you break down the cost, it might end up being more expensive than the actual coffee creamer that you can buy in the store. You know, like we have to stop villainizing ourselves when we have something that isn't so great for you because there are a lot of things out there that aren't so great for you and you just kind of have to live life because we're not getting out of here alive. We're all gonna die of something. And if I die because of the coffee creamer I choose to use, so be it, so be it. I want to say that I do intermittent fasting and it works for me. It doesn't work for everybody, but it, it works for me. So I eat between one and 9 p.m. That it's, it, it works best for me naturally. It just kind of is in my rhythm, my like natural rhythm. So that's what I do. But a half hour before I eat, and um, drink coffee and everything like that. But first off, before I drink coffee, I drink a ton of water. I drink a ton of water because it's not good to drink coffee on an empty stomach. So I drink a ton of water and then I drink my coffee. But in between there, I, and before I drink my coffee, I do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother, the, the Bragg apple cider vinegar. I do one tablespoon of that in water to dilute it. And then I add a little bit of turmeric, I add a little bit of ginger, and I add a little bit of cinnamon, and I add a little bit of honey. Sometimes I add lemon, sometimes I don't add lemon. But I drink that, and about a half hour later, I drink some more water, and I drink, and then I start drinking my coffee. So that's kind of like, I'm gonna do what I eat in a day video. I did one not too long ago, but then like I accidentally deleted some of the footage. So I was like, Ugh, I'll just redo it, I guess. So I'll go more into depth uh, in that video, like kind of like my order of things and you guys will get like a better breakdown. But for now, so uh, in the interest of time <laughs> and your attention, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, my favorite breakfast that I've been eating, that I eat most days. I, I go in between two different breakfasts. Um, this is uh, toast with eggs, and then uh, my other breakfast that I usually eat is uh, protein oatmeal with fruit and nuts and stuff. So um, that will be in my other what I eat in a day video, so you guys can see that. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. I have Poseidon at my feet. 
There's the boy. Okay. I have my oven preheated to 425. And let me grab, because I'm going to toast the bread in the oven. But let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. I'm going to set this up. Bear with me. Okay. Can you guys see? I don't know why I'm asking you, but okay, there we go. It's a little crooked, but whatever. Okay, I've got some butter here. And I'm just gonna put this in the pan. Voila. Voila. And this, like I said, like this isn't like a very crazy recipe. It's very simple. We've got cottage cheese here. We've got eggs here that cost about a million dollars for one um, for one dozen. So this was a million dollars here. But real talk, the egg prices are pissing me off. I know you guys hear me out there. I was boycotting buying eggs, but then I really like eggs and they're just like an easy meal and I used to buy eggs as like a cheap meal because you could get you could get 18 for like three dollars now you can't it's BS and I would like to speak to the chicken man or whoever runs the egg production of the world I would like to speak with that man and I would like to give him a piece of my mind and maybe a knuckle sandwich because I'm sick of it okay I'm sick of it all right, once my, <laughs> once my butter is melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add two eggs. Turn this down a little bit. I'm not used to cooking on a gas stove and these suckers heat up quick. Do you see this? Do you see this nose here? I'm out of eggs. I'm out of eggs now. Gotta buy some more. Okay, grab my spatula. And I'm just gonna scramble these. Give them a good little mix up. Now usually I would do mushrooms in this. I would cook the mushrooms first, add a little salt and pepper to the mushrooms, cube them up, and then I would add the eggs. But unfortunately for me, my mushrooms went bad. So couldn't use those. This is just, this is a train wreck today. I'm out of eggs now. I've got no mushrooms. Gosh, it's sad over here. And Poseidon is drinking water like a crazy person. Add some salt. Add some pepper. Okay, and then we're going to add my favorite. I love spinach. I love, love, love. Okay, Poseidon. He is going crazy. I love, love, love spinach. I love it so much. You could also add peppers. You can literally add whatever you want into these eggs. You could do peppers, you could do onions, you could do, you could do a lot. Hi, you good? You drink your water too fast, huh? Okay, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more spinach. because I like a lot of spinach. And then, this is what's crazy. With the cottage cheese. I know I know you probably weren't following me with, with what I'm doing with this cottage cheese, but you add the cottage cheese to the eggs with the spinach and sometimes mushrooms. I prefer it with mushrooms, but you know what? Sometimes things just don't work out in our favor. And then you add the um, cream cheese and you just mix it up. I add about two like spoonfuls 
And the reason I do this, since the chicken man has made egg prices out of control, the cottage cheese adds a creaminess and a cheesiness to the eggs, but it also bulks up the protein. So um, let me see, there's 12 grams of protein per serving. So adding about a couple tablespoons, that probably is around 12 grams. And then two eggs is around 12 grams. So you're getting around 24 grams of protein in this meal. So it's very good. It'll keep you full longer. And cottage cheese is cost effective. So this is just like a little hack, I guess since a chicken man wants to do the absolute most. There you go, look at that. I'll show you guys close up in a sec, but we're just gonna kind of let that like heat up a little bit more and I'm gonna go ahead and put my sourdough bread. I'm using two pieces in the oven to toast up. And I gotta tell you guys, don't be afraid of bread. Don't be afraid of carbs. Don't be afraid of them. Especially sourdough bread. Sourdough bread is naturally fermented. So fermented food is super good for you and your gut. So sourdough bread is super, super healthy. It's got some calories. It's got some calories. But don't be afraid of it because there's a little bit of protein in there and then there's also the fermentation that helps the good bacteria in your gut. So don't be afraid of bread, sourdough bread especially. It's super good for you. And voila. Two pieces of sourdough toast, eggs with cottage cheese and spinach, add a little bit of hot sauce on there. We got my coffee. We've got some blueberries. I'm just gonna eat like, I'm just gonna kind of eat a couple handfuls, whatever. These are washed, so I don't wanna hear anything in the comment section. These are washed. And then I have a green juice. I use the V8 green juice. It's the most, um, uh, how do I say it? It's very good for the price and it gives you one and a half servings of veggies. And then of course we have water. So yeah, this is my one of my most favorite breakfasts. So there you have it guys. This is my one of two hyper fixation uh, breakfast. Mm. Very delicious. Also, I'm not a licensed dietitian, nutritionist, life expert. I'm not an expert in anything, if we're being quite honest. So you don't have to take my advice on how to eat, when to eat, what to eat. Do what works best for you, your body, your schedule, your budget. Do what you gotta do. Not everything that I do is gonna work for you, so. Just gotta let that be known. And now my uh, thing is flashing at me because I'm about to get cut off for time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below. What I eat in a day video coming up soon. I got a ton of content coming up soon. So be on the lookout for all of that. I love you guys so, so much. Uh, be sure to check out my Twitter at Man and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. I love ya. God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah.